We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Yeah, this is Everton Blender. And it's all about the young police from Jamaica. Seeing young police channel. Big up yourself. Everton Blender said that. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Blessed love, Rastafari. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video yeah so we'll continue the journey so this is part five of the nine part series um you know with this um you know exposing um wilfred ratigan and the likes you know their job um you know trying to destabilize jamaica for their own you know for their own benefits they um for their own political and financial gain so you know as herbert nelson highlighted it's time for the jamaican diaspora to see through this facade and re reject the manipulation. Jamaica future depend on unity, transparency, and collaboration. Not the deceitful strategy of individuals who prioritize their own ambitions over the nation's well-being. So the diaspora has a crucial role to play in the progress of Jamaica. But it must be led by individuals who work with integrity and seek to uplift the country, not to tear it down. So you know people like ugly some and all them people there, you know that um you know them people there traitor big time, big dummy and all them thing there. I don't know how people, intelligent people, <laughs> you know, oh if it, if you're in a criminal still doing you know, from day one, you know, the guy can't get you in a criminality you know, and get you corrupt, you know, you understand what I'm saying? So the revelation about Wilfred Rattigan's tactics show a disturbing agenda aim at destabilizing the Jamaican government and exploiting the diaspora for personal and political gain. So as we stated before, you know, we are asked and is Wilfred Ratigan setting up himself for a money laundering investigation? So this, you know, um, as we stated already, it, this is not a nice look for him as a former FBI agent because he must understand, say, you know, when it comes to criminality, Anything that more than one person is involved, that is conspiracy. Me, if I am not doing and if ask me if I am not doing anything that is legal, me nah, you can't get me involved in them thing. Nah. So I don't know if them are, uh, is because of deficit in income. Man, you can't be that desperate. All I have to do is just set up a Himalaya. So more or less on him. I mean, you know, I, uh, hey, look. So this is part five of the you know, nine-part docuseries. So you watch, you listen, and you decide. In the 70s, the Americans were, the CIA were the one that funded the J, um, JDF. Yeah, yeah. And the, right. J, the JDF was bought, the JDF. With all their equipment, cards. Yes, but the, J, the, J, the JDF is always aligned with the CIA in Jamaica. Because that's the reason that if it wasn't for the JDF, that was, um... The um the PMP the PMP would have overrun the country in the seventies. It's because Robert Nice would not go along with, with Michael Mallet to commit the crimes that he wanted him to commit on behalf of the PMP and murder the Jamaic and murder the labor right voters them in the Kingston metropolitan area. But we're able to get some people within the JDF to commit crimes. No. You know, uh, let me let me ask you something. You ever heard, yeah. uh, you know about this man that um that that was um in easing thing there um in Canada. He was a part of the PMP. The guy that supposed to kill Edward Siaga in in seventy six. You remember him? Um, I I I'm, I've, I know there's a lot of stories out there, but I'm not aware of that guy. 
Yeah. No, man, I'm, he's, in, he's currently in Canada. He's living in Canada now, man. Living in Canada now. Yes. You, know, you, you don't know the guy I'm talking about. If it's if it's the same if it's the same one that uh, supporting lonesome, that's the only guy I know of there that's far about JC. No, not J. No, who, who's that guy? You're talking. The, 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 you see, this is what I was trying to find out. I asked my contacts to try and get the photos mm -hmm. from the Friday night that we were there because the guy was there. So you never took his photo, guy. He lonesome all his information about police matters so him so, didn't tell me let him talk mm. you know but i was more interested in what he had to say than trying to remember his name and everything <laughs> and yes i i left there uh with all the um hullabaloo going on mm -hmm. and um you see lonesome think him slick in my right again they invite me over to the house the day after mm -hmm to try and convince me to kick the woman out and put lonesome in charge him and his wife oh and i told okay. him under no circumstances that was going to happen right see one of the things with me is when i make a commitment to you yes i'm, I'm standing behind you and beside you yes right you're a man of your I'm word turn on and stab you in the back because mm -hmm. somebody come and say hey I can do this. I can do that. I have over two hundred thousand followers. I have this. I have that. That don't mean a damn that thing. Yes, yeah, true. Right. The, the man by his own mouth him can't work with other people. Who that ugly some? Yes, by his own mouth. Same man. Uh, uh, same same lack people skills. Yeah, he, he don't have people skills at all. Mm -hmm. And so I you I told the man to his face in his house. I can't put you <laughs> in charge of people that you don't like yes because once they make the the recommendations as your committee mm -hmm. who are you going to tell them mm -hmm. right you're going to you're going to discourage them you're going to get rid of them what are you going to do mm -hmm. him tell me say there's nothing that they can do if they take over because him can block them from all the bloggers we say look that don't mean nothing to us mm -hmm. right we can create uh, blogs of our own yes. and have people come in and do the blogging for us right and that's what they're doing now with with me and um couple uh, ratty show the um waterhouse vibe show what, what, what was it gonna call it when call it reason with ratty gun mm -hmm. right so, so they think that they are powerful, but we're working around them nevertheless. Mm -hmm. we we promoting this guy show up in Chicago, not a Jamaican, Sutherland TV. We we get ready to, to we started a promotion on um, uh, Social Bone, right? So we, we're going to be doing other shows that you know, this is 19,000 plus people on LinkedIn mm -hmm. that we now have that social bone is going to broadcast over. Mm -hmm. So, so we are going to beat them at their own game. We're going to flog them at their own game. Mm -hmm. Right? And show them that, hey, the good people are out there and good people support us. Yes. We don't have to depend on you and your criminal elements then. Yes. You know? And this guy knows everything about uh, Lonesome. They know about Rattigan too. Oh, you talk, which, which guy? The one in Chicago? The, the police, the police brother. Him is a policeman up in New York, in Canada. But mm -hmm. him say he was in the JCF before. Mm -hmm. Right? So, him have all him contacts them. Oh, so oh, you don't have any, oh, you say you, you're trying to get the photograph no, of I'm trying him. to get his name. I'm trying to get his photo too. Mm -hmm. You know? Brother, let me tell you, man. There is so why so why so why Ratigan is doing well. So Iman, so so basically, <laughs> I'm not criminal minded, but man, I want to do something yeah, like that. Look, they use the nonprofits to wash money as well. Oh, corrupt, corrupt money, corrupt money. So Ratigan wants to be able to sue, more sue, and they want to be able to be able to go after. Um, certain government people put pressure on them mm -hmm. right but it, it gets to where 
when you don't have an open book, when you're accounting, you're not even you're, you, the accountant, you tell me you have, you don't have. Because when I ask, okay, who's auditing? Who's doing this? Who's that? He can't tell me. Oh, so that's why, oh, that, oh, so because you guys are at loggerhead with uh, that now, so don't, because you want accountability I mean, this, and them that want that. This is what put people in jail, in yeah. a non-profit. Mm-hmm. Can they use expenditure for the wrong reasons? Yes. And cannot yeah. account for it? I can't account for it. So oh. this is why when I withdrew, I had to write to the IRS and let them know, hey, I'm oh. out of this thing. And here's the reasons, right? Okay, so... so so that's the reason why he's beating her because he said he wanted you oh no no you Francis he wanted Francis so wait a so is it you that is, is it you that Ratigan is talking about that say you're involved in criminal um criminal activities in Jamaica no no that's Francis that's Francis I, I know where I come from so I can never make that statement no. and guess what I'm saying I'm going to complain to my people about me to the CIA. And I won't listen to him because I know they think him is a criminal mm. and they didn't trust him from long time, from, from yeah, the but days in Saudi but, but you are, you and I know so him can't just go to the CIA and you know them just take you understand what I'm saying? Because no more man cre- him man of credibility in the in, 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 in inner security. No None. Credibility Zero. That's why I laugh after Yeah him man, him not a credibility because him man is a notorious liar, you know man. A man is a criminal yeah. enabler to you know, and supporter. Mm-hmm. Once yep. in the company of ugly some a convicted coke dealer. That means say that's why I must, that's why I say oh oh him get for me this man. Oh he might, you understand if he was a handler of this man. You think that he would ask me to check the man out before him go associate with him? him don't ask me that now, so I'm not tell him that. So he must know that man. Me know, me know him no. He may have to know. Mm. Right? He's not stupid. One thing I know about right again is not a stupid person. Yeah, must, but you know I mean to say I'm smart, I'm smart though. I, mean, I don't see him as someone who's smart. I see him as a person who's a criminal minded person. Mm-hmm. And well, he lack, lack integrity, reputation and a character. He have none. That he destroyed that a long time ago. Yeah brother. man, he not have no, and well, I mean, yeah. Because number one, whenever you retire from the military, you always retire from the military and the federal government you always become a can you easy to get a job as a contractor. I mean, I yeah, said, oh, oh, man, I've, oh, a man like him, I fought, and him can and him can get a big contract with one. You understand what I'm saying? As a contractor, yeah, yeah. it's because him tainted because more or less them even flag all him security clearance and all of them thing then. Yeah. And him yeah, renew it. Him know that him know that they're not gonna give him anything. Yeah, you understand. So, me know, so I know that I hustle him, hustle and him thing that even with a YouTube channel and him thing. You understand? Mm-hmm. Hmm. And I know that I know that I've been a subject of their their um, communication privately and secretly, yeah, privately and publicly. You see, but anybody that can come back at him, him not gonna mess with them. Mm-hmm. This is why I can't touch Wayne Global over in the UK, right? Oh, that I want. Oh, that I want. Got, yes, yes. Wayne I, Global I, is, a, is an attorney just like him. Mm. Oh, and Wayne Global flog him every damn day. For, that's a wrong guy where I think he might must about five people on him panel or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah and him, yeah, and him, yeah, I watch him a few times, you know. He always do him thing. He's still, he's still on YouTube, but I haven't seen any pop up from him. He's on YouTube. Uh, look up producer Wayne Global. Mm. So, producer Wayne Global. Him there. And him and that the woman there in Jamaica, them them is close. Oh, Karen, 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 as well as her friend, the other one that must the, have looked me up. Oh, the, the, the black one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, them, say, them, uh, them, them know them know what them doing, right? And them them trying to get to Ratigan, and they they open up Pandora's box on them, and you see. Him, him trick me and him tell me say I'm gonna write the letter to CIA and him go tell CIA how me I discuss certain things and all this other stuff. Well, I say well is your word against mine. Plus CIA, you let a whim get past the censor because once him knows you and him know all about you already, them don't want to talk to you. You know, somebody just leave it alone. Mm-hmm. 
you know, becoming no, there's no way. Let me tell you something. In the agency, when you come to access, when they give you global access, that means you, you, you have the highest clearances and you have all kind of letters behind your clearance. And that's what I had. I was on the 9-11 team before it happened, when it happened, after it happened. I was on so many different teams, it will make your head spin. And the bottom line is, the, the stuff that I can speak on, right, is because they gave me the access to it. Because I came out of the military, had special operations experience behind me. And they knew that I could do certain things that the other analysts wouldn't comprehend. And this is how I saw his stuff long before you met the man. When I realized him in Jamaica, I said, damn, this guy have no judgment, him crazy, right? Who else would let 9-11 happen when you are the main guy responsible for investigating it? It happened and then you turn around and become Muslim. And then you start wearing all the garb and stuff into the embassy and other places. Madness. A pure madness that. Mm. Oh, it, oh, oh, the day after 9-11 you become Muslim. You know, that don't make sense at all. It don't make sense, brother. Mm. And that's why I say something is not right with the man upstairs. Mm. <laughs> if if I tell people say something is wrong with my brain. Now my brain operates the way it's supposed to. You know, I analyze situations and I don't go and put my foot in my mouth. So the bottom line is you deal with yourself. And you want to go write to my people, okay, write to them. Right? They're not going to listen to you. They won't even ask my single question. Because mm -hmm. then you realize the level of trust I had, there's no way in the hell I'm going to be telling them shit I'm not supposed to tell. Them. You know? So the, the, this whole thing is a mess. And him created. And now him trying to clean it up by, by playing innocent and that we come after him for no good reason. Now, now you bring shit down top of your own head and when they look back at your record, your record is there for everybody to see you out on the internet. So who gonna believe you? You know? This man is crazy, man. I try to do what's in the best interest of everybody. And I, I stayed out of the, uh, out of the thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Imagine this. After I tell Lonesome I'm not qualified and I leave Canada. Oh, so, 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 so wait, but, but you, you, you told him that, but the CM Rattigan was saying behind, um, behind uh, Uglesome that Uglesome He's the same one that said that ugly some is not literate because seven times him feel the police test and him not smart and him right. supposed to only talk with the people them that understand him. He's not supposed to talk to the people them that have high school education upwards. Right. And and you see, Vatican needs somebody he can manipulate. Oh uh, yes, cause him no him no him no him, him no for use that tactics as a farmer investigator for. Right, massage right. him ego tell him all of the nice things them about him when you want Cause uh -huh. that's how that's how it works you know you tell him all of the nice things when you want to hear tell him how him ass how man and all him head big yeah. and you tell him say head straight how him beautiful how him look nice and him look good and him hot and this and that and all of them things fly to him head and you make him the things where him won't even do because him hear all of them things the same thing say you all look old female and them things when you manipulate him yeah and, and, and that's what he 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 can't understand him it's just like Tavares. Mm -hmm. Tavares go and tell people Ratigan was dishonorably discharged from the FBI. <laughs> Who's Tavares? 
in the 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 make we talk program uh, why am i not the age i don't even follow at first may i hear that it means it means tom tavares finson's uh nephew oh why am i near make we talk make we talk look it up uh, yeah what Minifal- now jeffrey have a record and they cover it up to get jeffrey in the country where is so, that, what, what i'm trying to get jeffrey in america in uh, canada no i miss here in florida who that jeffrey yeah so where them try to get where them try to get him they well jeffrey didn't declare that him and his brother had a record what kind of record criminal record drug trafficking so i'm get visa the, so i'm get visa the, he got dismissed right but he remember now who the family is so the case right. was dismissed in jamaica in jamaica yeah Mm. But then there's another case where him and his brother must stab up a cousin. Wow. Right? And that one wasn't dismissed. Right? So the, the bottom line is the cousin must have been so pissed off and press charges. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, when Jeffrey go and tell people that Radigan that dishonorably discharged, mm-hmm. Imam Radigan had a falling out. So Imam Radigan, Imam Radigan reference? Yeah, they're still close. I, I'm going to show you now. Jeffrey gave Radigan 150,000 Jamaican dollars to have this detective of Jamaica clean up the record. And I know the detective because I'm from Constant Spring. Clean up which record? The record for Jeffrey Tavares? Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the, the court record. Right, that was going to erase everything. Yeah, but if him arrested and charged with drug, drug running and anything, then the case dismissed. Well, the drug thing got dismissed mm-hmm. by the court. And I guess since they were teenagers, they seal it. No, man, let me... Right. No, no. Let and, and let and no, me tell you how the system works in Jamaica. If he was arrested and he was under the age of um, six, um, 16, uh, under the age of 16, then uh, and, uh, them must, them must seal record of Jamaica. They must not record it. If he even oh, convicted, I saw them do it in Jamaica. The only, uh-huh. the only purpose they them would keep it now. Like if he want to become a member of the police force or the military, they would know that and he would, have, would, not, would consider not a fit, fit and proper person. Mm-hmm. Mm, you understand what I'm saying? I oh, so you. it's a it's a PMP black man. You see? Yeah man, I see it. I see it's a PMP black. Look. So so the, the He he wasn't PNP before. Mm-hmm. Because of course he's from a JLP family. Yes. Right? But all of a sudden now all of them mix up with lonesome and they all become PNP. Yeah. This is why I got suspicious. Because we said we would not become political mm-hmm. and the man them turn political on me and oh, then when okay. they realized say i was gonna block the politics from the canadian group and the uk group mm-hmm. right that's when they tell lonesome that i'm organizing in his area over there that i'm talking to people about running the global jamaica diaspora council mm-hmm. in canada he was right but i was doing it based on his recommendation that we just go ahead and organize and leave lonesome out of it because they can't work with people mm-hmm. this is the man that come on you know and him say that i told him i'm giving him a debriefing and this is behind closed doors so I don't want him discussing anything outside. Mm-hmm. I talked to the man at his house the Sunday. No, the Saturday. Mm-hmm. Right? Because the event was the Friday night in, in Canada. The Saturday we I debriefed the man at his home. He invited me over to his house. And the idea was to get me to give him control of the diaspora council and it didn't happen yeah. 
Sunday before I leave him, call me up again, trying to convince me. And I tell him, no, mm -hmm. cannot do that. I'm not going to tell this woman I'm supporting her and then turn on and stab her in the back. Right? I said, I don't treat people like that. Yes, you're not, you're right? not a snake. I'm not a snake. And man, I get home the Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And by Monday night, them tearing me and Dr. Francis apart mm. and wrote some show. Them do it the Monday night, they do it the Tuesday night. We go the Wednesday night, we go on Sutherland TV and defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. Explain to the people exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. They saw that, they came back, they came on that very night again, repeating all the nasty stuff calling us pieces of shit, calling us names that uh, you, know, you don't want to hear. His wife mouth nasty as hell. I mean, the woman, I mean, I, re I respected her. I've never disrespected them. Mm -hmm. And they know that. But they try to make it seem like I come to the house and turn around and stab them in the back. No. I told the man the truth. I have no reason... You know, professionally, I've done the same thing when I was in the military, done the same thing in the agency. When I get the briefing, you know all the facts, the whys and the wherefore. And there was at no point in my contacts with him in person that I was impressed with the way he did things. And of course, the fact that him can advertise an event to start at three o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. I show up at 6.30 to no, start. That, that's on set. You know, saying I'm military, the, time would leave it. No, 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 I couldn't deal with that. And then, you know, I had to cover his ass by making excuses to people. No, you can't do that. Right? I don't no, like that, that. No, you have to tell a lie. Once you have to tell a lie, that, no, you know, you understand yeah, what I'm saying? No, no, I, was, I wasn't going to do it. I said, the people who came are not the type of people that he would necessarily hang out with. Mm-hmm. These are upstanding citizens who came thousands of miles and they came because me, Dr. Francis, um, Ratigan, and um, the other one, they call himself Mystic Sensation. Uh, they were, uh, they were going to be there. Mm -hmm. We were going to be there. Mm -hmm. Now, Mystic Sensation, another one surprised me because they didn't know him as another PNP acolyte. Right? That him want to talk of PNP this and PNP that, along with Lonesome, then they pull Rattigan in, Isaac Buchanan, all of them. So Isaac Buchanan come out against you too? <laughs> he, 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 he really don't come out, uh, he respects me to some degree. I want to ask the brother still doing it, you know what I do? I know, I know. You know, you know, you know, I'm the only, you know, I'm the only person he don't mess with, you know what I Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I, he's cautious with me. He he does not say anything against me directly. Mm -hmm. And it's like they they set him up. Mm -hmm. They put him in a corner to where he have to comment, but he find discreet ways of saying what he has to say. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got him always beating around the bush, mm -hmm. never straight. Right. So I understand the situation they're missing. Right. I don't excuse him, but you know him need to. If I'm going to change any at all, it's certainly not with his association with this, you know, criminal coming out of jail, right? That everybody think is innocent. Mm -hmm. And, and, and... About two times, I'm going to prison for, for drugs. I At know. Two times, you know, I would have believed that man who got prison two times is innocent. I'm glad you would have believed that. But you see, you don't know, one thing still with the PMP, you know, the PMP criminal... Them believe anything, you know. Once them like you, nothing else will count. Yeah. The truth is irrelevant. That's that's the that's the problem that they have. Mm -hmm. Um and and these people that is following them are dangerous other the people. Mm. Well I know you that, know. you know. I and and this guy, uh cartel that that they back in now. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah. so, so but we know that his role is to um, is for him to campaign for the PMP when him come out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
And that's, so, so that, that's that's the role of Isaac Buchanan and all them get the judge. Oh boy. So how oh, oh, we gonna get a call? How oh, oh, we remember you know, the system that we had from the from the eighties with the Courtney R's and all those people? It wouldn't have the, we don't have any people with integrity on the bench anymore. It's just pure yeah. corruption. Yeah, that's why it's falling into the hands of the diaspora to do something. What nothing is the we diaspora. The diaspora. The, the diaspora. Look here. Number one, you cannot live in America and sue the Jamaican government. And people, in a, you have to understand how Jamaica operate. People who are, the people them who are corrupt, that's the way that how them kill um, Dean Shah. You know that the, you know that the people them who kill Dean Shah is the people them that involved in a twelve in a um, the billion dollar upper uh, yeah. deal. Uh, that's why them kill him because them say him in yeah. farm. You know that. Yeah, yeah. They 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 saw him talking to somebody, some ranking person, and figure, you know, I mean just. The wrong place, wrong time. No, but that's a madness on them thing. The man, it is madness. You understand? Yeah. I tell you, brother. So, who, who, you, who, 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 who you thinking that Jamaica is going to take on, take on the government? It, who, it who, would who, have to be a person with money and that can assemble a small army around them mm -hmm. to protect them. Right? And this is one of the reasons I said to Lonesome. What we need to do is get somebody with influence and power on our side. And the person I was working on was Donna Chen Loy, Chang, mm -hmm. Ray Chang widow, right? Because she, like, uh, she, Ray Chang and I went to St. George's College together. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we linked up in Canada one time and then before you know it the man is dead and he might the cancer and I didn't know. So if I can get and I don't even talk to Howard Shearer, <laughs> you share our son, mm -hmm. him running uh Itashi Corporation in Canada, trying to get him involved too. And I tell them, look, if if you really serious about fighting crime, uh I have a Ghanese guy that worked for Defense Intelligence Agency that have a own agency. Mm, oh, that, that, we, the, the DIA is a part of the U.S. Navy. It, no, it's a part of DOD. Yes, yes, but it's 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 me and it's me and it's attached with the U.S. Navy. Well, I won't say it's me because they have to be attached to all elements. Yes, the Air Force them is the one that when you bomb targets. They have to tell you where the target you need to go back and bomb the it. The location together. and everything, yes. Yeah, they they, 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 they have they can they look at all the intelligence across all the military services. Mm -hmm. Right? And they can analyze it. Because usually at that level, at the they are the strategic level. The tactical level is the services themselves. Mm -hmm. You know. So you have to, you have to um, respect them. You know, the Jamaican guy used to run that, Vincent. Mm -hmm. Vincent Stewart, three-star general. Mm -hmm. You know that? Yes. And so, you know, there's a guy that him and um, Chris Beckford came up together. And they formed the first Marine Corps uh, intelligence uh joint intelligence center that's that's their claim to fame mm -hmm. but see chris chris and him might have fallen out because him didn't support chris with certain things so chris left the marine corps and retired at 20. but chris is so talented that him, him formed two companies now that's making millions and millions of dollars mm -hmm. And Chris is so sharp that DOJ and the DOD phone company, Defense Information Systems Agency, are the ones that he have the accounts with. Mm -hmm. And you have to be well... Yeah, so we have come to the end of part five, um, you know, of this Ducky series. So we got four more parts to go, you know, to complete this thing. So if you... Can't, if you don't have the patient, I don't know what Jamaican people, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, those who support the patron, 
um, squad, yeah, we, you know, uh, we know that they're not listening because they already got the entire thing. You know, but those, those who don't support it, you know, just have to wait. Or, you understand what I'm saying? So, um, we have come to the end of part five. So, hope you're enjoying the series so far. So, have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.